So something I was curious about that I just thought of. We do, in fact, have expert mode as part of this, if we really want to. Yeah. Why is... Oh, yeah, I have to, I'd have to turn it on, right? Okay. So if I really want to, I can use expert mode in this, too. So I don't have to worry about overleveling myself too much. Outside of getting caught by surprise at being overleveled. That's always a possibility. So, based on what Shulk said, we can safely assume that any structure we see here that isn't blatantly high NT is probably giant, so... There's also quite a bit of spiders here, so... I'm not too surprised, but... Eh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Incense... Deca Deca? Enemies are closing in on Pond Spectre. Save them before they get eaten! Oh, no. What happens if I let them get eaten? No, come on, guys. Go eat the nope bond. Tell me how it tastes. They keep talking about how yummy they are. I'm curious. Fine. Raging uh. Oh well. Fantastic. How you doing? How you doing, Dagger Dagger? <laughs> well, if I certified uncontestified, Bond Spectre Dagger Dagger's name surveying new lands is game. Dagger Dagger really thought I was curtains for a moment that friend snatched the life of uh, Dagger Dagger from Jaws of Death. When Dagger Dagger finished surveying area, lit monster repellent incense got, uh, that got from friend. Then monsters appeared. Oh, who's your friend? Was it one of the other inspectors? It made no sense. Why on heck a monster's not repelled? Why attract? Meh, when Deca Deca take a whiff, realize it actually monster attract in incense. Friend must have put in my uh, by mistake, or on purpose. Oh, this could be trial for that uh, fate post for Deca Deca to uh, challenge resolve. Fate calling Deca Deca to defeat monsters by his own self. Meh, meh. But Deca Deca do nothing, just call for help from passerbys. Disappoint himself. Well, in any case, thank friends for well-timed rescue. Deca Deca, not forget this kindness. Okay. You're gonna join me then. Sure. Sure. By the by, did friends see Chief 1 1 somewhere, maybe? Take a take a have to, uh, have to hand in survey results. So, you guys are here, but were you, like, on the shoulder before everything happened and that's why you're here? Or did you get here by a different transport? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite confused as to why you guys are here. <laughs> Meh. 1 1 rising rank very quickly. Was once rookie of team, but now chief already. Very unexpected. Must be recognition for excellent skill in Pondspecting. Decadeca must, uh, Deca -deca must follow shining example. It's a uh, key tenets of Pondspecting organization that good effort always recognized and rewarded. <laughs> Kino, get buffed up. Cool. I will now have four of them. If I had... Oh my god. Really? Oh my Zanza. Um... I wonder... I wonder if the game might chug at a point, having all of them. This game does feel like it's pushing the switch at times, and I've noticed it a few times, like frame drops and stuff in a... Oh my. Oh, could I do it? I might be able to do it. I need to clear away everything first. Okay, we can probably do this now. Probably. Definitely do 
Going. I, I think it's. Is, is it just the. I'm not even sure exactly what I'm supposed to be uh, having trouble with in this. Certainly has a lot of health at the very least. I wonder how much different is the po I wonder how much difference the pawn specters are making. Like it's hard to tell exactly what all they're doing, I suppose. Using Shulk as a tank isn't exactly optimal either. Thank you. Okay, there it is. There's the difficult part. This isn't going right. Heal! Melia, don't give up! I hear your words. Melia, cheer up! Flash, flash! We can definitely do this! Okay, I wanted to get aggro on Shulk more reliably. Not days, not days. Okay, not days. Ooh, that actually lost me. It. I gotta be careful about losing aggro. None of these other guys are really gonna be able to take it very well. Oh, shoot. I actually had full health. I didn't actually look. <laughs> oh my goodness. How can I... Because I don't have... Oh. Now is the time to shine. I'm all right, thank you. All right, I'm feeling it. You know, Stanley did not all. What? Well, I guess I got it back. We can definitely do this. Come. This isn't going well. Behold the power of the Monado. Alright, I'm feeling it. Come. 
Now is the time to shine. How can this be? Maybe not so bad as Healy Pulley! We can definitely do this! That fight was really brutal. Okay. I prepared myself for the worst. <laughs> if friends need rest, no, that... the treatment of Kiano is second to done. That went okay, that went okay. It is interesting that Kino decides to be a healer when wanting to be a hero pun. I wonder where he learned his... Uh, you know, you know. I, I wonder if the implication is that Ryan and Sharla have been, just spent so much time with Ricky. Like at the ending uh, of the game, that ending cutscene and whatnot. Where basically uh, they've picked up their uh, fighting styles. So we never got an explanation as to the nature of the stars in the sky. We've seen meteor showers before and it looked like they were falling. I had previously speculated that they were like great, um, how to phrase it. Uh, oh, all the way down there for that. Okay, never mind. I was, I was about to go to that uh, ether deposit, but now. Uh, I had previously speculated. What's that one up on the. Just one sitting up on the roof. Weird. Uh, I had previously speculated the idea that they could be just like concentrated ether falling. Which still seems possible, but now that we know that there is a proper actual universe out there, and I think that we have a proper actual universe now, it's not incredibly clear, but it looked like we had proper galaxies and spherical worlds again uh, in the ending. Not 100% sure on that, though. Uh, that those stars are probably actual, you know, stars now. Oh, goodness. I hope none of you are afraid of heights. This is so sparsely laid out for the floorboards, this would be terrifying to cross. It's not exa it doesn't exactly look that reliable, either. Actually, are we heading to Alchemoth? Because this is- oh, we are actually heading to Alchemoth, we're not just going to the other village. Okay. I thought we were going to the other, uh, place of the Machina and whatnot. Huh. Life without visions. I was just thinking about this. How shield is so fucking useless without that. Like, maybe you could have, like, a quick enough trigger finger to look for those and get them off quickly enough, but I'm not betting on it. I wouldn't design a strategy around that working. Being reliable. Uh, Shulk. Did something catch your eye? Wow. What a view. It's nice to see the capsule like this. Being able to see it from here. It's enough to make me tense up. In all honesty, it's making me consider my position and standing. I see. My brethren, who transformed into Telethia back then, and those who survived, feeling the sadness that seeped into this land. And then, my father and brother's expectations, calling me the hope of the High Entia. I must be an Empress worthy of taking on that mantle. But I don't know how. Much as I hate to admit it, I have not been able to find the right answer yet. Well, that's the first step. Melia. Knowing what and what isn't the right answer. Shulk, you of all people must surely understand. You who secured a future for all of us in that decisive battle. Uh, I think it's an incredibly different one. A decisive moment is very different than creating decisive, uh, creating sustainable, than creating something sustainable. That is the, there is a big difference between creating a turning point and creating something that'll last. That is a huge difference. But I will say, Melia, I do feel as though she had a, a lot of growth towards what a leader would be, should be. That sort of thing in terms of attitude and just in general how she saw the world. So I feel as though she's on a very good track to being very good at it. So maybe not having all the answers, but having the right mindset that if anyone will have the answers. You know, I've been thinking a lot lately about what my visions were. Oh? The future that Zanza wanted. That was certainly one of the things I saw. But we fought to deny that future. And in doing so, forged our own path. That's part of it, too. Hmm. 
But now that I can no longer see them, I find myself doubting. Were we... Were we really actually determining our own fate all along? Well, it's a good question. But look, you have saved me more times than I can count. That did not come about because of your visions. You used your own judgment, and you chose to act, did you not? And thanks to that, I believe I've grown as an individual as well. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think I said anything funny. I'm sorry. You're right. I want my actions to have meaning too. Not to craft Zanza's future, nor defy him and bend the world to a future of our design, but to give the freedom to choose. To all beings that call this world home. Freedom to choose, huh? What would my father and brother wish for? I wonder. I don't think you need mystic visions to work that out. Hmm? They just want you to be happy, right? My gloom is no match for you, Shulk. It's just as you say. To become the hope of the High End here is a fate I choose for myself. Those were the words Father imparted to me. There is no need to fear. That is how my brother encouraged me. I've been so impatient and homesick. I nearly forgot those most important words. I can hear Father. Lecturing me even now, chiding me for my foolishness. I give you my thanks, Shulk. It's nothing. To lack clear-cut answers is hardly a sin. But a sin it would be to cease searching for those answers altogether. For the High Entia who live on in this land. Nay, not only the High Entia. For the sake of all the people of this world, that they may decide the future as equals. That is the vision I choose to guide me. That is the future I wish for. Yeah, if anyone could make it happen, it's you. But I won't lie to you. The road ahead will be long and arduous. I hope you won't mind me lending a hand. After all, that's the future I want too. Shulk. Indeed, it'll be my pleasure. Okay. She's already grown into a good leader, in my opinion. Just a matter of, you know, moving forward with commitment and decisiveness in order to actually implement an intent. Shut up! Oh my god. I didn't even see that guy. Hmm. Oh, yep. I was wondering if we'd see a bunch of Telethia still. Oh, right. We saw one near the beginning, didn't we? Why would all those Telethia be gathering here in one place? Transporter! Over here! So, one thought would be that if maybe in the uh, absence of Zanza, the Telethia didn't have, like, a control node, in a sense, in order to actually control their uh, intent and everything. Because there was an aspect of them where they're under the control of Zanza and they're doing what they want, right? And I'm not sure, were they under some direct control or was it, like, inputting a you-go-do-this-now sort of control? Or it seemed like there was the ability to control them to an extent, at least with... um. Uh, Melia's brother and whatnot more directly and all that stuff beforehand when they were like leading basically a mini just like air force of them in a sense when they were fighting up in the air after the uh mechanics core stuff unclear but still if the, but i guess my point is speculation wise if there is some semblance of a gap in terms of authority structure and however they work mentally at this point then perhaps that's been filled by whatever this fog king is Huh? What is it? The transporter is running. 
So it is. But how? Maybe somebody activated it. In any case, we can't afford to dally here. Agreed. Let's go. So you think someone went in, basically? That seems like the... what they're suggesting at the very least. Okay. That's probably... about three hours of recording. That's probably a good place to end this first one. I'm not sure how many episodes this will turn into. But uh, wherever this is in an episode, it'll be where it is. So, I'll see y'all next time. This has been uh, pretty interesting so far. Uh, I'm curious if it's going to... So, obviously the story has a point to it. There's a point of this being a story. The two main ones you could go from a narrative perspective is expanding upon the world. Or, alternatively, it could be expanding character arcs. And if you're going to base it on the idea of Future Connected... One of the things that came to mind based on the name, even prior to all this, was maybe they're trying to do something where they connected into future games in with a connection point that was maybe implied in future games, but not really set up in this one at all. Maybe that's the intent. Or alternatively, you could have stuff involving the character arcs with like Melly and Shulk, and, which it seems like that's going to be notable at the very least. So, I guess we'll see exactly what the overall point is. There's also the chance that it's just a nice little outing where you have a little bit of each of those and uh, mainly it's just a, a excuse to have a bit more at the end. I guess we'll see. So that's all I'll do for today. So I'll see you next time. Drive safely, everyone. And hello and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition Future Connected. Maybe I should just say Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected. Maybe I should just say Future Connected. Ideas. I'll think about it. So, last time, we got to a point where it looked like we were going to teleport into the capital. Uh, outside of this, it's been about a little over a week since I played last, and the first episode has gone up now. I'm going to be much closer to the actual release times, and uh, like I was throughout most of the actual series up until the end. It'll pro I'll probably be approaching this in the same way, where I'll be uh, relatively maybe an episode or two ahead. Well, probably the week of episodes ahead, uh, give or take. And then, what is that? Oh, no, no, that's just the teleporting red. I thought that was like some red thing flying around. So, a couple things that had been pointed out uh, that were particularly relevant is quite a few people pointed out that Melly is a voice actress, hadn't done the role in years, and she's literally 10 years older. It's like, yeah, I can, I can hear that. Honestly, at this point, I feel as though I'm not really hearing the difference anymore. Either I've just gotten used to it, or she settled back into the role properly. Like, even early on, there was moments where it's like, okay, yeah, that sounds just like the Melia voice I was just listening to. So. It's fine either way, ultimately, so. I'm not really complaining as much as I'm noticing, or I had noticed it at the beginning. So I'm not, you know, complaining. <laughs> or anything like that. Uh, the second thing is, apparently, the shoulder here is actually a revamped version of an uncompleted area from the main game that was cut and was still, uh, and, like, fans were distinctly aware of and whatnot. That's interesting. I'm curious as to what on earth that could have, like, what that might have been relevant for in the story, because... Ah... Uh, I know people also mentioned there was, like, cut content story-wise involving Fiora's body, so maybe that. Hmm. Don't know. I still need to go do those Monado Secret Files, but that's probably going to be a post-future connected thing ultimately, so... Yeah. Let's continue. Huh? Oh. Were we able to see out of here before? Am I remembering that incorrectly? I'm probably remembering that incorrectly. Well, hello. What is that big red thing up there? Well, it doesn't seem like there's a bunch of stuff just floating around here in any capacity, at least. It's 
good to be back. Home of Miss Melly needs some reading. Housekeeping been slacking off. <sighs> Very true. We'll have our work cut out for us. What is it? Look up there. The big red thing. What is that thing? Look like hole in sky. That's simply impossible. This world is still in its early days. That could explain the instability. That, or it's still being reborn. Does that really explain this? It could do. That fog It king could creature. do? Is it from... It's a possibility. It could do. In that case, it may well be lurking nearby. Let's stay together and keep a close lookout. King of Fog, not scary to Kino. Yeah, you're gonna be shit in your Kino, pants soon. How about turn around and tell to face? Bye bye bye. Hmm? It's out of. Gotcha. Oh. A joke there. It's like there's nothing there. No, no, big meanie. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's what older Mama? siblings are for. A child's voice. Where? Up there. Let's go. Oh my goodness, the escalators aren't working either. Yes, I don't have to rely on them. I'll, I'll get the pond specter later. Don't tempt me with a pond specter right there. Yes. I don't have to, like, actively go against the grain on these or fast travel around them every time. I want to not give up them. Ah, the world's a better place. Also, a child. If it's Juju, I swear to goodness. Over there. That's interesting. The child is in danger. Quickly. Can do. Let's go. Are you all right, child? Wait, Teelan. Ah, oh, Miss Melia. Should I recognize? You too, Shulk. How? How did you? <laughs> Teeland sounds vaguely familiar. We can talk later. It covered in black fluffy mist. So that scary king of fog? Yeah, maybe so. Let's give it our all. Or something under Or perhaps something under its control. Okay, let's go! Okay, fuck it. What is that icon? Oh, uh, my bad. Definitely do this. How is this? Summon bolt. Hiya! Ah! Ah! 
Yeah, Buster does bring down armor, doesn't it? Buster does bring down armor. I hadn't really been thinking about that. Was that technically a gun? We can only hope. Look! The rift! It's... Oh no! Look out! Oh, okay. Oh, shit! That beam... What about it, Shulk? That was the same attack that brought down the junks. Then that would mean... Does that mean it's aiming at us? There's a form. It looks like we found our Fog King. Yes, I would have to agree. What now, Shulk? We might as well try. Nay, nay. Understand. It won't work. You can't even land a scratch on it. Melia! Kino! Leave to me! Eat face full of pain! Be gone! King of Fog Bright Dust! <sighs> yeah, neat thing about fog. Then. It's immaterial. Melia, let's pull back. That would seem wise. <laughs> so did we learn anything that could help us? It seemed to be capable of having its body decimated, just the ability to regenerate it. Presumably, maybe we could cut off its source? That seems like the most ideal way to approach this. Okay, this should be far enough. Those things can't follow us all the way out here. Oh? And you're certain of that? Was that the kid we went and saved from Alchemoth when it was being overrun by uh, Telethia and whatnot? Is that who Telen is? The name sounds so familiar. Yeah, sure. The Telethia will keep us safe. The Telethia will? Well, that's what Radsom said. Though, I don't think they realize it themselves. Ah. Right. Your mother was one of the affected. Yeah. Oh, I haven't thanked you yet. Thanks a million for saving me back there. Why were you alone in such a place? You could have been hurt. Uh, sorry, miss. He get told? Pipe down, not on obvious. Well, I think the answer is the most I important part. To gather research material. There it is. But then I tripped over some rubble and, uh... And that's when you were spotted, huh? Were you the one who activated the transporter? Yeah. I was given special permission so I could conduct my research. Research? That said, I normally don't go anywhere without Big Sis. You have a sister. Well, we're not actually related. We've just been living here together. If I remember correctly, you wanted to transform Telethia back. Yeah. Oh, hey. My lab's over on the far end of Zen's thoroughfare. You want to come with? We can talk more there, where it's safe. You have your own laboratory. Not as grand as my old one, mind. You have an we still don't understand the Fog King, or the monster that attacked Telen. Maybe the Telethia are connected to all this. 
Thielen's research could help us make sense of it all. Yes, indeed. The thing that attacked... Oh, you mean the Fog Beast? Fog Beast? Is that what you've been calling them around here? Fog Beasts always appear around the Fog King, so their name seemed appropriate. Makes sense. Right, I'll be going on ahead. You won't be guiding us on the way. I need to clean up, else there won't be anywhere to stand. All right, see you. Hey, wait! He's acting like he's... An a he's gone now. He's a research... what? What is it about science boffins? Always doing whatever they please. Huh? Oh, shut up. <laughs> he got told. He probably has it coming. Well, that's just sort of the story of Shulk's life, isn't it? Isn't it? Thrice damned fools. They think to second guess the will of the divine. What? Who is the divine now? God's dead, man. God's dead. Uh, a shop selling arts manuals has opened. In the arts manual shop, you can exchange arts coins for arts manuals to level up your favorite arts. You may obtain art coins when defeating unique monsters and fog beasts. Defeating a given monster for the first time will always grant an arts coin. Uh, arts coins received for unique monsters and fog beasts you defeat before the shop opens uh, should already be in your possession. You can check the coins uh, you own in the arts manual shop. Okay. It's fine. Well, first things first. Let's go to the most important stuff here. That's nice. Qualified, certified, highly extrovertified. Pond Inspector Dry Dry is named Surveying New Lands. He's game. What brings friends around these ponds? Dry Dry secretly follow bird people from a far away to near away. And would friends guess it? Dry Dry only go and find a bunch of birds, people, feathers! Dry Dry gasp with emotion. Why? For one simple reason. With the feathers, Dry Dry may wing, wing to head hat and become bird person all on self! Well, that sounds insane. Or such as plan, anyways. For now, Dry Dry still not enough feathers. Upper level and other side all pick clean. Should be some left on this side, maybe. <laughs> you just dream of Dry Dry to become bird person, please, for sake of Dry Dry. Well, technically, you already have wings, so don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Bring feathers quickity split. Well, we're getting demanded. Whatever. Also, interesting. The music here. The chanting from before sounded a ton like Zanza, uh, like Zanza's ba uh, boss theme. It's almost like a slowed down melody of it. Of the chanting part of that, specifically. Well, that was easy peasy. Just had to pick them up. Fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
Doing so requires spending three bars of the party gauge, but it deals damage to enemies in a wide area and has extra effects. Uh, so it's like the chain attack equivalent? There are three variations to choose from, each with extra effects. Red Comet deals major damage to one enemy. Blue Caress heal and grants regen and debuff immunity to allies. Yellow Chaos force daze and the strength down on enemies in the area. The more pawn specters you are able to befriend, the more powerful the Union Strike will become. When you use a Union Strike with all three allies uh, that are capable of acting freely, an extra chance may sometimes occur. Okay. An extra chance that lets you perform another Union Strike without using the party gauge. You cannot same, uh, choose the same extra effect. The probability of an extra chance occurring is higher the more pawn specters are in a state of high tension. After a Union Strike, the party's tension will go up, while all pawn specters in a high state of uh, state of high tension will revert to normal. Well, interesting. Now I literally... Oh my goodness. It's a bit much, guys. <laughs> Am I really going to have 12 of them following me? <laughs> interesting. No armu done. Rescue the high anti woman's being attacked by Entels. Got it. No objection here. Okay, so what have we got? Oh! What was that? Uh, I don't think I'm actually getting any of this. There's one. What? <laughs> what? I'm confused. Uh, okay. Well, that happened. Well, uh, I'm saved. You're the ones that defeated them. Accept my gratitude. My name is Lafayette. Uh, Lafayette. I'm an Armu herder from Grandel, a town in the southeast of here. There are towns here. I suppose is it are you is it a town that was established after everything went down or before? The armies recently started running out of fodder just within the town walls, you see. So I walked around trying to find some more grassland, when suddenly angry antels. So where did the armies go? Some people tell me I get far too focused when it comes to the welfare of my herd. Probably should pay more attention. Well, all things in moderation. Ah, right, Grandel. Like I said, the south uh, southeast of here. Head that way and you'll see a big gate before too long. There's a lot of nice juicy grass here, so I'll pick up enough to get my armies fed, then mosey back to town. You're gonna pick up grass? Thank you for helping me out of a sticky situation. Things won't have, uh, would have been really grim if you hadn't shown up. Well, that's not really how grazing typically works. You have a big field and you let them eat to their heart's content. You don't pick up grass. Whatever. I guess that's technically what hay is, ultimately, right? Okay. Let's see if I can establish a landmark for this town. Ooh, big ruiny place with Pond Spectre up there. Let's try it. <laughs> or maybe not for now. Might be a good thing to avoid for the time being. At the very least, I can take this route. <laughs> Maybe I could just take this route up there. Not that I'd get that uh, nice juicy air, possibly with agility gems uh, deposit, but oh well. Well, they are catching up to me level-wise, so it should be at a point that I don't have to worry about them being just like way too far behind. So they're, they look like it's about a level behind us. Set set. Yo, boss. Yo, boss. Qualified, certified, never ain't not pumpified. Pond Spectre sets that is the name. Survey news, uh, new lands is game. You see ropey bridge that connect to a normal storm pillar over there, boss. Sets that have irrepressible urge to stand on terrace a bridge and give voice to own determination and bumpedness. But they're already rogue on terrace and they showing sets that lots of aggro. Well, you are delicious. One day we'll discover what no pond tastes like. Is it chicken? Is it fried chicken? Why have beef with Setset? Is it beef? Do you guys taste like beef? 
Broke will need to chill out. Set, set to, to uh, it's just live own truth. Sometimes no pun, bro, gotta, just gotta shout. Set, set, make earnest requests. Please do as set, set, as if set, set cannot shout determination from Tara's life over. You definitely have, uh, some significant opinions about how this is going down. Y you want to get over on these? Probably. That makes sense. Yeah, I'll double back there in short time. Well, here's our game. Cole, I have become stronger. They're not gonna let us in, are they? Okay, l let me guess. Story event's gonna let us go through there at some point. Okay, we can do that later then. Everyone, let's go! Oh! Perspectives, do it now! We need a Find the treasure! The timing on that feels so off. I can't be the only one who feels as though the timing on that feels weird on its best day. Hmm. Hmm. I do keep missing it, but meh. That was tight, boss. So much strong. Set set move to manly salty tears. Very, very weirdly salty. Something must be wrong. Now set set can go to Terrace in peace. Bear with set set one minute. Five one thousand, four one thousand, three one thousand. Shouting out of blood, sweat, and tears, a termination conclude with success. You, the boss, boss. I'm glad everything worked out. Set set feel connected to you by unbreakable thread of destiny, boss. Gonna hang with the crowd until we find Chief One One. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. During journey to Bion's shoulder, Chief 1-1 took Setset aside and said, Setset, Chief have great trust in you. Setset not uh, so easily trusting as that, so not quite believe in Chief 100%. That's why Setset gotta see for Setset's self what Chief 1-1 get up to. Anyway, Setset counting on your boss. So I'm gonna lose them as soon as I find this 1-1? Seems like that might be the case. Meh? Other pawn specters? Sure thing, boss. Setset get red hot tip for ya. Should check out this place, no kidding. Got it. Now I have... I have the perfect number of six of them. Fantastic. Okay. Let's try it. Well, I'm here. We can't lose! Uh, are we sure this is a good idea? Nope! Ah! Absolutely no clue if it's a good idea. I'm gonna go with probably not. Alright, I'm feeling it. Definitely do this. Cook the time to join forces. One for one, and all for all. Ha! Ha! Perspectives, do it now. Oh my God! Find treasure. That was weird, but okay. Like, I can get those perfectly fine. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not that one quite now. Maybe not quite that one this moment. <laughs> Later. Later. That went well, Beth. Just have to remember it's there. <laughs> hey, bounce back to old buddy old pal. Qualified, certified. 
dear fine. Bond Spectre, no Noah, his name. But what's his name? <laughs> it seems fate has ordained us to meet. Laws of space time converge on single point. For one upon Spectre, blood cannot but happen. Time is nigh. After aeons of way, dreams soon come to fruition. Cut down, miscreant. Thing a magicka, thirteen must fall. Let this act fan flames rebellion and upturn world in shambles. Me? Yeah, friends want to know more about Thing a magicka, thirteen? And why world is in shambles? There's not time for expo expositioning. First, they must make back with no no na. And to do so, must slay odious fiend that lie beyond. Slay all of one untidy, surely lead friends to original proof. Then and only then may friends begin on path to reaching true lore. True lore, eh? That's the neat thing about this epilogue. We're gonna take all the lore and say that it was a lie. <laughs> Through this one no pun side quest. All the lore of the original game. There is a fateliness to weave with a winding way. I can imagine it. Definitely can imagine it. 73. Ah, damn. Okay. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. So those two look like they're getting along real well. Let's uh, not bother them, though. Yeah, let's definitely not bother them. Well, I don't think I'm going to get past this with all the people that are sight-based instead of sound-based, so... I guess this is the point where I back out of this nice little adventure into... ...wherever the hell this is supposed to be over here. Oh! Hey, what have we got? So I have three. Neat. Okay. I don't know yet what I really want to do. I don't really feel as though I have... <sighs> Without being able to do extensive gem setups, I don't really feel as though I have very good setups at all at the moment, basically, so... Hmm. It is sort of unfortunate, and I'm gonna just go ahead and hope this isn't something in the future that they have, that so many of the progression stuff, like art books and whatnot, seem to be locked behind... external? content to the main story so there was a nice aspect of the original game where while you got bonuses for doing side content it wasn't like they were in they were like significantly linked you could buy you could buy a lot of the art books I suppose maybe this is better since mainly the higher tier ones you got from uh, enemies dropping it and this is removing the drop rate aspect of it Maybe this is better for this specific thing. But it feels as though, in general, there is a, at least more of a focus on, uh... Sort of making you do side content in order to advance the game. Basically. Uh, so, I guess we'll see how significant that is, but... I like the side content in the original game because it felt extremely optional. Basically. That was a big part of how I thought it worked. And just kept working, too. Okay, one I might even be able to do. For four hours. Qualified, certified, making world more be uh, prettified. Bond Spectre 4 4 is named surfing new lands as game. Oh, why surprise for uh, for four I like that? Made for four recite the well, whole Pond Spectre spiel now surveying big shambles. Our friend's going to make up for it. Eh? Hope not thinking you make teensy apology and just walk away. How much money you got? Um... <laughs> Before we're going to have to ask help on small matter, then let friends off proverbia fish hook. Could you go into more detail? Uh, Chromar, other side of Zen's thoroughfare, right hand side. Okay, so you want me to go kill them. Got it. Could have asked nicer, but oh well. Hey, uh, 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 could I get a look at that ID tag you've got there? Oh, I knew I recognized it. It's my brother's. There's no mistaking it. Would you mind giving it to me? Uh, when did I get an ID tag? Why am I even being given a choice? 
know how happy this makes me. But if this fell out of the Somnivore Alexos, that means at long last my brother found his nemesis and lost. You know, we were evacuating uh, when we were evacuating the capital. It was him that drew monsters off by uh, to buy us enough time to escape. If it wasn't for him, we never have made it as far as Grandel. He was our savior. He really was. Afterwards, he must have learned somehow that the Somnivore Alexos could be found at Sultnar Seal Island. Ah. Uh... I'm certain he went uh, there to remove the beast and secure a path for anyone coming to Alchemoth after us. Hey, by the way, my brother also had the spangle that was a family heirloom. You didn't happen to find that too, have you? No? You haven't, huh? Well, that's a shame. Last I saw him, he was headed f uh, heading from Barro Plaza towards Cinnabar Plateau. I've already searched between Cinnabar Plateau here and there, but found nothing. If you're willing, could you go look, around, look for the bangle around the plateau and beyond? I'd be most thankful. Oh my goodness, you're offering potential aesthetics, yes. This will be the first thing I do, obviously. After the bonds back here, of course. I still don't get why the fuck bonds back are here. Might as well see this now. I actually got. Wait, why was there like one of the gorilla things in that? Was that part of the attack? Wait, what? I wasn't fighting one of those. Huh. Weird. Was there a lower level here? There might be. Hence why the, uh,. Either deposit isn't showing up. Crumar, huh. huh. Toast Speaker Ray! Yay! Thought 404 four was middle of survey? Where friends get that idea? <laughs> Such silly dumbs. No, Fofor just got out to bounce back now. But friends did a very speedy job at Fofor. Give credit where credit due. We'll prepare a handsome reward later, so come by and Fofor will deliver personal. Before I think I venture further afield, beyond even Denny Crumar that uh, friends fend off. Say hello when friends next to you incline, okay? Ta-ta now. What? You didn't join my team of awesome pawn specters, you bastard. You bastard. Oh, now you're just over where I was. Okay. Now I gotta walk all the way around back where I was. Ah, uh, was able to pawn specter all area without hit. Again, work friend. Much appreciate. Really? You just added a random me running a... God damn it, game. Incidentally, Fofo might have other teeny tiny, tiny requests. Involves us going personally to Chief 1 1. Okay. Same as the goddamn rest of them. Fine. Oh my goodness. Oh. I've gotten a lot of them already. Do it now! We, we need 
The oh, fucking motherfucker! Oh my goodness! Okay. This seems manageable so far. There we go. Okay. I could have. That could have gone worse, and it had gone worse before then. Basically, to make up for the lack of a tank in my setup, I'm. I'm basically just straight up dropping any pretense of a. Uh, uh, doing anything but just like regen and I see. armor and stuff like that. Uh, well, good thing I found it. Is your brother still alive? Are you trying to imply that? But, oh, well, you're off somewhere else then. Okay. Because the implication I thought was being implied was that your brother had died and had dropped these things along his way, but. The fact that he's dropping things just without having them dead, maybe not. <laughs>